I don't know why a lot of people are not talking about this, but I will. Because I want to stand on the principles of the word of God. I want to protect the children. See, there's a new thing that is happening right in front of your face. And you don't even realize that it's happening. And the reason why it's happening, it's because so many of you are partaking in the things that are happening. Yeah, I get that you want to defend your theologies. You want to expose and point fingers and do whatever you can to bring the attention and the traffic to your page. I get it. I understand. At the end of the day, I know it's all about the love of the money. Everybody want to live good. I get that. But what about our children? When we're doing this, our children is being explored. Our children are being trafficked. Our children, the little girls, On these social sites, TikTok ain't nothing but a pornography exploiting children. Why these children are twerking and shaking their butt, their shirts pulled halfway up, jeans zipped down where you can see pretty much their panties heading down till you know what I'm saying. It's crazy. Parents are partaking in it. And some of these children, they're just doing it. Some of them trying to hide their face upon emoji, but you know, they're kids. So they're so, their brain's not regulating what's going on. And you can still see their little brothers on the couch or a family member here. But you got to ask yourself, the dark web, you got to ask yourself, are these kids that are half missing? And the reason why some of these kids are still missing is because y'all not paying attention. The same kids that are twerking, the same kids that are that are doing these things could be the same children that are missing. See, they sexualize their children, so they're using the internet to do so. And then, while you are liking the post, thinking it's cute, they're continuously doing something that they may not want to do. Because on camera, they're probably forced to. But then, who's to blame? Some of these parents as well. And we have to step up and not allow it. If if these platforms can silence us Christians and ban us and copyright us and all strike us and all this, and they letting stuff like this go, then this is where we need to go and petition. Like everybody else, then this is where we need to stand. We need to start standing up for God. We stand up for everything else. Let's stand up for these children. The Bible said it's better for a person to tie a mouse around their neck and throw himself in the sea than to leave his little ones astray. You know what that means? He is saying that it's better for you to kill yourself than to lead a little children astray to sin. And we're just going to think this is okay. You mean to tell me your little girl right now could be on social media with a count you don't even know about shaking her butt and some grown tail, nasty tail predator molester is trying to figure out, oh, uh, how can he, you know, get her on another site so he can talk to her directly. And then next thing you know, you know, your child is missing. Then now you want to boohoo and cry and want to call every news station when you wasn't checking because you were so busy on social media yourself having fun. We have to start standing and looking out for our children. The internet is a new, dark, underground world. And they're doing it right in front of our face. And you're missing it. Our kids can't speak for themselves most of the time. We have to speak for them as Christians. It is sad to see little girls thinking they're grown, popping their butts, shaking and doing all these things. It is wild. You got some acting like they're pregnant with their stomach post up, poked out. I guess it's a trend, but it is crazy. TikTok ain't nothing but a child pornography and they need to be banned. I don't know about you, but I'm taking it further. I'll recontact the lawyer because I want them sued. A price has to be prayed, prayed, paid for it. And it's, and it's not fair. It saddens me because I have a little girl. And by the grace of God, I'm glad that she's still a little girl. I'm going to make sure I'll be watching every move that she makes because I'm involved. You have to watch. I don't trust anything. I just wanted to bring this to your attention. And I encourage you to go to my Instagram. I posted it there at Pastor Marcus with two S. I can't really post post it here because I already know they have to mean it. They're trying to ban me and give me a strike and all that I already know but if you can just see some of this stuff I'm pretty sure you'll be sick to your stomach but we have to stand for our children because they are the future